Alrighty, so we are live here. This is my sweet doggy. I figured that uh, I've been doing my vlogs and I've been putting some of them on, um, like putting the updates that there's a vlog, new vlog on uh, Instagram. And you can follow that if you want. It's called Ariel by Day on Instagram. And I made a short little Instagram video last night about Danny Boy, who is this wonderful doggy. And so I thought I'd share more about him right here. I haven't really had a chance to do much on my vlogs yet about him, but he is the best guy ever. This is Danny Boy, my dog who is almost 11. And he is the sweetest guy ever. All right, ready to do the front teeth? Okay. And we brushed his teeth for many years. And then, good boy. Um, I was having trouble doing it because he got ear bowel disease and I couldn't use any, there were no um, toothpaste I could use because they all have proteins in them. And so now that he's on, like, he absolutely cannot eat any proteins except one, <laughs> um, then he uh, also cannot eat treats, normal treats. And so the gastroenterologist vet um, told us to use marshmallows, which seems like the craziest thing. But if you think about it, it makes sense because of the fact that it has no proteins in it. It's just straight sugar. But it seems very ridiculous to give him sugar <laughs> after brushing his teeth. Okay, you ready? Let's do this part. Um, and also we found a toothpaste that has um, no proteins. So anyway, this is our little, one of our nightly things. I'm just so grateful that he is so um, willing. We had to get back into the, the vibe of it of, come on. <laughs> and now he just wants to eat the toothpaste pretty much. Um, but I did start doing with him this with him as a puppy and that is definitely, in my opinion, the way to go with, uh, with that. Because he, like I clip his nails and um, well, it takes another person. One person has to hold him, and then one person, not like hold him down, but just like hold him in their arms. Because he's not just going to sit there while you clip his nails, but he will, um, he will let you do it. So, anyway, this is my little guy. I love him very much, and um, he really wants to go to bed. I am a night owl. He is not. So he he's ready to go to bed right now, which is why I'm actually brushing his teeth so that he can go lie down in his crate and hopefully rest although because he is my service dog he will he has trained himself never to go asleep to sleep before I do which um is kind of not a good thing in this way but um I trained him to help me out when I had seizures and then um, I am now basically seizure free, which is so awesome. And he now really, really helps me out with my PTSD, which I pretty much got from having so many seizures for so long, plus other trauma related to that and just other trauma. Um, but we're largely from, you know, having 10 years of completely uncontrolled seizures and 14 years of focal aware slash simple partial seizures that I did not know what they were and I wasn't telling anyone and I was depressed and all that good stuff um, that many people have gone through here. Um, so then he's been a huge help for that. Hi, sweetie. Hi, doggy too. Hi, doggy. He is um, a chihuahua mix and he kind of came into my life like uh, it was a little uh, miracle. I was not planning on getting a dog. Don't you love how that happens? You don't love how that happens. Okay. You want to go to bed? Yeah. Okay. It's late for him. It's like almost 1 a.m. So I'll go put you in your crate. You want to go lie down? Okay. All right. Good to see you.